Hello Beauty News family, welcome back to the Makeup Breakup. This is a series where we destroy makeup, so you should hit that subscribe button before we pump some powder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Oh, shit, how funny. So today we're taking a look at the Stiller In The Buff Powder Spray. So this is a powder product. It comes in three shades. You've got light to medium, medium to deep, and then illuminating. That's the one we've got today. And when we spotted this in store, we were like, oh, this is interesting. And we sprayed it out and we were like, God damn, that's a very pretty shade of illuminator. So essentially what you have here is a powder in a bottle that you spray out. It contains 11 grams of product, so we are going to weight check this today. It's not actually recommended that you spray this on your face. Uh, you're supposed to spray the product onto a brush and then buff it into the skin. Now, we're kind of like, uh, why? What's the point? What's the point? I feel like uh, if something is in a spray, it's designed to be sprayed. And look, we tend to want to just go straight for the face when we're doing that. Um, we don't really get the purpose of having it in a different uh, dispensing mechanism to then put it on a brush anyway but whatevs if that's what you want to do it's a little bit different it's kind of interesting this is a pretty color now cool thing about this is you can actually unscrew the pump mechanism um, it's not like an aerosol so we're gonna spray it out and if it gets too messy we'll tip it out um, it's gonna be the easiest way but we, we just want to play with it So we have weighed this full container and at the end, once all of the product is taken out of this container, we will weigh it again. So if you're new here, that's how we like to weigh things um, because you take the original weight, then you take it when it's empty and you deduct the difference and you find out how much product was in here, what the weight of the product was. So we can do whatever we want to this now. We can spray this in a beaker, we can spray this on our skin, we can sacrifice to this to the gods. It doesn't matter. We're gonna get an accurate weight. So we really Let's wanna see play. Yeah, we wanna see how this looks on the skin. So I'm gonna start spraying. Do it! Oh no. wow Party. That's probably why you shouldn't spray it at your face. <laughs> I think that makes sense. I'm gonna spray it from a bit further away. Oh, 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 oh. So this has sort of like a peachy tone to it and there's like an orangey reflective it shimmer in like there. It looks like white powder from my angle. Oh, does it? Yeah. It looks like white powder from my angle too. <laughs> it looks like white powder from top down. My oh. hand looks like something out of a horror movie. <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> it's uh, Adam's family? Yes, What's it called? Thing. Thing? <laughs> all right how do we capture this light um torch yes maybe torch oh it's all over the table oh, we oh see the sparkle arkling. can you see the sparkle arkling we can't from top down but hopefully you can get that all right the color might be a bit wrong but there's some sparkle action there's some sparkle gosh <gasps> you're edward from twilight i am edward from twilight when this like when the light reflects off this it's such a pretty shade of peachy orange yeah um i really like it but oh, there's a massive white cast on my hand maybe we should pop this on a brush and dust it on and see if we can get a better effect All because right. spraying has just made me look like a sparkly white thing edward from twilight edward, edward from i know twilight. what we're going to halloween as this edward from twilight <laughs> Right into the brush. Yep. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> oh, look. I don't know if you guys see that on camera, but not much of that went on the brush. Be but let's careful. let's swatchies. Oh, oh. there it is. <laughs> I thought I thought there should have been more. I'm just gonna say I actually prefer just directly on the skin. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can see some sparkles because I see none. Yeah, 
you're just gonna have to take our word for the fact that it's prettier in person yeah. than it is on camera. It it is really pretty. It's very subtle, but when the light hits it, then you can really capture like how pretty it is. This would look amazing during summer, yes. sunny day. Oh, on dust your it body. on your body, on your cheekbones, wherever you want. Beautiful. Let's put it in a beaker. Let's get spraying. Oh whoa! Oh yeah. <laughs> Put a mask on. I'm just gonna, yeah, protect my mouth. Oh, Ooh, oh, hello. When you give it a shake, she goes. Oh, wow. This does have an interesting pump mechanism in it, and we will show you that. Um, it does come out really Ooh. strong, which is. I'm surprised at how well that pumps. That's insane. We're creating uh, dry ice. We are. It's making sounds. She's making some very funny sounds. <laughs> yes, we're children. <laughs> if you don't find joy in your job, you lose the plot. That's true. So the, the shaking seems to have a pretty good effect on making the powder come out more, but if you don't shake, eventually it'll stop pumping out product. Good God, how much is in here? A lot. Yeah. Fuck, man, this still heaps. It's oh, over wow. half full. Okay. Oh my god. So, can you guys see the line just here at the base? The bottle gets a little bit transparent as it goes down. Very nice packaging. Very, very nice design. Um, but I've been spraying that for a long time, and uh, it's there's still half a bottle of powder in there. So we're gonna tip this out. Good idea. Good. It's a lot of God, powder. That's wow. A lot. Oh, and it just keeps coming. <sighs> tappa tappa. All right, she's empty. We're not measuring this in mils because it's not measured in mils with the packaging, but that's sort of a visual representation of what you'll get in there bar a little bit because we've got some on the table on our hands etc etc the pump mechanism is really interesting i have never seen anything like this before so i'm gonna spray it because i want to see how it works yeah do it oh Whoa. okay that's really interesting that's interesting it kind of gets a little bit oh. stuck out of the the thing so obviously it needs the powder to but help look, it to but work look what the it does best. down the bottom yeah it's like it grabs it like that's agitates so the... interesting yeah, so ag... that's why you have to shake it yeah agitates the powder. it agitates the powder it comes out it grabs it <laughs> it's like a creepy claw it is it's like this one <laughs> <laughs> so it grabs the powder and pulls it into a little like let's see if i can show you in there yeah, so there's a little hole. well in there. That's cool. And it compacts it in there, and then you can spray it out. That's really smart. That's so interesting. Oh my God, I love this. I want to manufacture. No, I don't. I saw what happened to Jacqueline Hill. <laughs> <laughs> so the results are in 12.99 grams. So there's nearly two grams more than what's meant to be in there, which is pretty good. It's a fun product. It is. It's a fun product. Look, I think the the most interesting thing about this turned out to be the little 
claw sucking pump mechanism on the inside. Um, I do think the powder is really pretty. The, the finish of it under bright light is gorgeous. I still don't really understand why it's in a, a pump. I just think it's unnecessary. It could have just been a loose product in a, a tub. When we did buy this, I did try this directly on my face yeah. and it worked fine. Yeah. I almost feel like it's saying it's in a pump and it's convenient in a pump, yeah. but don't use it as a pump. That's mainly, I reckon, for legal reasons. I reckon. If it gets in your eyes, if it I gets up so. your nose, if yeah. it gets in your mouth. You're not meant to inhale it. Yeah, yeah. but I still think if you're... If you know how to use a spray, you could use this very easily. Yeah. And it was very pretty on the skin. Yeah. So just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. But for legal reasons, don't spray this directly on your face. Follow the instructions. Yes, that's right. Be a responsible grown-up. All right, guys, we do hope you enjoyed this episode of The Makeup Breakup. If you have tried the Stiller In The Buff powder spray in any of the shades, let us know what you think of it down in the comments section, and we will see you in the next one. And if you have any good recommendations for fun products to destroy, let us know. Let us know, please. Bye.